Yeah, welcome to another webinar today. And today we are going straight into what we call Know Your Market Timing Zone. As a forex trader or financial trading uh, person, you must know exactly when it is time to trade the market. And what are the kind of assets, currency, commodities that you want to trade at that particular point in time? These are the solid foundation. Trading Forex is not difficult, but you have to be well informed about how to go about it. So this morning, uh, we are going to discuss in this webinar meeting, we are going to discuss knowing your market timing zone and zone zones and after that i'm going to show us how i've been applying this uh information to my trading to enhance my trading results because we have to show ourselves uh that what we are saying uh is helping us and is yielding result first of all uh after this webinar i'm going to give everybody the software that I'm going to use to show us I'm going to give it to the drop it to the group uh, you download it you start practicing with it because one day you may like to be a trader and like I said last week in my last week webinar everybody is a trader that directly or indirectly so let's quickly move to the today's uh, business during the New York time Actually, why did I start with New York? I want to start from the beginning of the week. On Sunday, every Sunday, market open from New York. And you are going to see it, and I'm going to explain it uh, later. During New York time, most tradable Forex exchange should be in pairs of US dollars. Why did I say this? Because you remember that in America, they are spending dollars. And if the market that we want to trade is American market, which is New York market. Definitely dollar will, more, the dollar will be more effective. We can't just trade euro or we are trading uh, euro pairs that doesn't have anything doing with dollars. So in American time, New York time, we need to put it in mind to use dollars. So that is first thing. That's what I'm saying. American dollars is most viable during that time. Uh, that doesn't. When you are trading forex, you are trading peers. You are not trading one currency at a time. You are trading two currency at a time because you are going to buy, sell one to buy one. You are going to sell one to buy one another. But that peer must have dollar uh, currency in it. Uh, and I gave an example here. For example, during uh, New York market, we have to know that we are going to trade anything paired with US dollar. An example is pounds USD, euro USD, USD Japanese yen. So uh, the way we arrange the currency as uh, mini, which uh, in the in future webinar you are going to see the reason why. I didn't put USD pounds, USD euro, Japanese USD. I will tell you, you will know the reason why we arrange uh, currency pair like this. So let's move to another uh, zone, which is London zone. During London time, we can't just trade anything that doesn't have pounds and euro. Because this is the time that, Lon uh, these are the currency that London market use and these are the currency that will be very very uh okay in the uh, movement during that period of time so now most credible effects should pair with pounds and euros so that means euros and pounds they are the more focus so anything you want to trade must pair with them during that uh timing zone uh in this uh zone we have two more two major active currency which is pounds and euro you see, uh, you can see I gave two examples, pounds USD, euro USD during 
London time. We have a lot of peers that we can do, we can trade, but the most commonly tradable peer is what I'm referring to here. In future, we are going to see more tradable peer, tradable peer, peers. And uh, in these peers, we see the major peers, we see the uh, exotic peers, and we can be able to differentiate between them which one to trade and which one not to trade. Then we move to Tokyo. During Tokyo time, we must trade a currency that is pairable with Japanese yen. Because during this market, Japanese yen is the most active currency during this time. Because Japan people, China people, Asia people in general, they are going to focus on buying and selling with their own currency. So anything pairable with Japanese yen will be very, very viable tools, I mean, um, asset to trade that time. I give example, pounds, uh, Japanese yen, euro Japanese yen, USD, Japanese yen. We have a lot of peers and major peers and exotic peers, but major and exotic peers uh, is not going to cover today. Uh, we are going to talk about them in future uh, webinars. And the next one we are going to talk about is during Sydney. You know, Sydney market deals with um, Australian people, which is mostly we anything we want to trade that time was focus on Australian dollars. Because Australian dollar will be more effective that time. So any currency we want to trade that time must be paired with Australian dollar, which is a uh, few of them is Australian Japanese yen, pounds, Australian dollar, Australian dollar, USD. And many of them like that. So we can see these are the three, I mean, four major zones we have in the market. And I'm going to show you us, show us a, a, a just a simple or a what do we call it? I will show us um, a software that will help us to know which market we are trading. And because it depends on two things. Which brokers are you using? What time zone is your broker used? Uh, your broker server used? Which country are you in? Because some people will be in South Africa, but their broker is in Australia. So you must know the time, those times. And how do you know the times is what we are going to move into now. So we can see a, just a, a small uh, a piece of software that I'm putting here. Uh, I'm going to put this software for all of us. I'm going to put the link. You download it after the webinar. Look at this software. Is what we normally use for to know market time. For example, we are in. I'm in South Africa, and South Africa is GMT plus one. So if I click here, you can see GMT plus one is uh, Amsterdam, Berlin, and many countries are zoned under this uh, time zone. So for example, now, if I click here, that means as somebody living in, um, uh, in South Africa, that means in, in, uh, in South Africa, nine o'clock, is my London open. You see, we can see London open is nine o'clock in South Africa. That means if I want to trade in South Africa, I must, uh, and I want to trade London market, that means I just have to get prepared before nine o'clock. Because nine o'clock in South Africa, London market open. And when it is exactly two o'clock in South Africa, London market and New York market overlap themselves. And exactly five o'clock or let's say exactly six o'clock South African time New York and London overlap ended and we are only be left by trading New York market alone and when it is 10 o'clock South African time New York market closed New York market closed and 11 o'clock South African time, Sydney market started, which is 
uh, Australian. So their market open, and you can see that uh, at this level, Australian dollar will be the good uh, major pay. I mean, major currency to pay with other currency to trade. And once it's 1 a.m. South African time, Sydney market and Tokyo market overlaps themselves until the next day. When it is 8 o'clock South African time, Sydney market pull off, and it's only Tokyo market that is left. And once it's 9 o'clock in South Africa again, what happened? New York market, uh, I mean, yeah, Tokyo market closed down. I mean, 9 o'clock South African time, New London market and Tokyo overlap, and as it is um, immediately it's 10 o'clock in South Africa, Tokyo market close, and we're back to only London market. This is how this timing zone is very, very important, and it's working. I'm going to show you uh, examples of how it's working. Now, let's now consider other people. GMT plus one is South Africa. Uh, we have some people among us that are from Nigeria, and Nigeria is GMT plus two. So if I click here, GMT plus two, do you see what happened? Now, it, when we are using South Africa, we started London market at nine o'clock. But you look at Nigerian factor, Nigeria must enter the market 10 o'clock. That means one hour late. That later than South African time. And I have some people in this group that are from US. Uh, United States uh, is, um, it depends on which side of United States you come from. But let me see if I can see something related to United States here. But it works with any, any GMT. Uh, I think. Um, United States use GMT. Let's see. Let's keep on checking. Uh, London. I don't. I don't really. Let me see. Amsterdam is not. Amsterdam is not. Mid Atlantic because American Malay use. Okay, U.S. Canada. Yeah, this U.S. Canada. Eastern time, which is GMT minus five. We have Central times, time which is minus six. We have uh, minus seven Mountain time. We have uh, minus eight Pacific Pacific time. So it depends on where you have. We have Alaska, for example. Let's say we are from Alaska. When we click it, see what happened. Eleven o'clock in Alaska. That is where you are going to start trading London markets. And nine o'clock Alaska is London. It's, I mean, it's New York market. Can you see the difference? So we need to know this. We need to be very, very careful and know this before we jump into forex market. It's very, very essential. You need a basic knowledge to understand what you are doing. So you don't just start jumping into forex trading and you start putting your money on a big risk if you know all this it helps to give you the kind of results you are going to be getting from trading market because one you know the the, the time zone your country is you know the time zone uh, you know the currency to trade during that time zone uh, another is one of the factor. It's not the only. It's not the only thing, but it's one of the crucial factor. And when we start, um, what we call um, uh, trading strategy in that place, we are going to look at fundamental approach of trading, and we are going to look at technical approach of trading. We are going to. I'm going to add more. To this information here but this is the just the basic foundation you have to understand this first so uh, having knowing this i'm going to put the link where you're going to download these tools so that you you can play with it after saying this i'm going to uh now show us how i'm using it personally to improve my trading uh system
Yeah, this is one of my trading as uh, statement, and I'm going to show us. I'm not going to show. I'm not here to show you what profit or loss or what uh, deposit I have. I want to focus on this is my own personal account, and you can see May 11, about two days ago, 2020. This statement is uh, three. O I mean, one o'clock South African time, and. If you look at what I'm doing here, remember I said timing. You look if you look at the on the level of April, this is when I started trading. You see 844. 844 is in South Africa is is what time in South Africa? We can see that let me take this back to South African time. Which is GMT plus one. You see, that means I'm preparing to enter London market. Actually, I don't trade more than three hours in a day. I'm a technical trader, and what I mean by technical trader is I use software to trade. I don't stay in front of my computer, but I trigger my software when it is nine o'clock South African time because I know. I want to trade London market and the reason why I want to trade London market is because London market is very very active market is most is the large is the most uh, it take the largest volume and is highly volatile time to trade and followed by New York so I trade that time and I make sure I stop my trade around I told I, I instruct my software to stop trade around 12 noon so that if I have leftover Floating market, I mean, uh, account, I mean, trade open by the volatility between two o'clock to five o'clock, where London and uh, New York overlaps. Uh, the software should be able to close all open trades. That's the main reason why I do that. So now you can see that this is about um, 16 minutes to nine o'clock. I enter the market and I close for the day exactly 10.45. You can see, uh, no, uh, this is another entrance. Let's see, uh, we should see the, the closing. Okay, the last trade was on 11 a.m. I stopped and that is all for the day. That is all for the day on that day, 11 o'clock, I have stopped trading. Uh, because I, that's how I instruction I give to my software that by this time don't place another trade but close all the open trade and that was uh, about two days ago. Now this is another statement I can show which is today. I quickly extract I extracted this one for purpose of today's class. Uh, why did I do this? I I instructed the software to place trade one a.m. What happened in one a.m. South African time? 1 a.m. South African time is still a Sydney market. It's still a Sydney market, and I enter the Sydney market and I instruct my software to stop trading 11 a.m. South African time during the London uh, zone. Why did I do that? Is because of some few things I need to explain to you later in the webinar in future. Because I realize there's some news that's going to trigger the market. Uh, to move, so I, I I put the software there and I went to bed and exactly eleven I mean one a.m. the market opened and it's still trading up to now and you can see this May thirteen today is May thirteen um, and as at the time I pull out this statement I think it should be around eight o'clock uh, I think uh, yeah. I pull out this statement around seven o'clock this morning. So uh, I'm going to show us whatever the result is at the end of the day, um, which is around eleven or twelve when the software will stop trading. I, I, I mean, I'm a technical trader. I said it earlier. Technical trader, we don't sit in front of computer. We just use software that we have programmed. To act like our mind, the way our mind works. So, 
and and that is all uh, about this and you can see uh if you look at this trade was placed when uh, around 6 a.m and this is seven o'clock it has closed this trade at a profit of 14.20 so uh like i said i'm not here to show you profit and loss but it's just to show you how effective the strategy of knowing the the time to trade works and it has been helping me for a very long time i've been using this strategy since 2008 in the market and it's going it's giving me a good result that uh, i'm expecting to get as a forex trader so i think um if you have any questions you can drop me a questions on this i'm going to uh attend to it uh last time i said anybody that have problem should i mean challenges or questions should contact me on my business was applying which i put on the screen i'm still going to put it on screen today uh for the sake of the people who are not is in south africa you have to put plus two seven on in front of the number which is eight one double two nine two double nine that's a business line that I can quickly answer you. you. You tell me, a lot of business is done on, with that number. Tell me from uh, Forex webinar so that I'll understand who I'm talking to. So because I don't know all of us in the, in the webinar, some people invited their friends, which I don't know. So that is all about today. Uh, information, that's all about today webinar. And if we have any personal thing that is not clear to us, we can quickly ask the question and I'm going to attend to that. So you can see how time uh, zone is highly effective. And what I trade is uh, involving US dollar. And this is not a real currency, it's a stock. This is Dow Jones stock, American stock. That is what I've been trading. Uh, because one of my students who is on this platform also trade this and is a good person that have information on this and we we agreed to run my software on on that asset on that stock and it has been doing beautifully well since last month both of us have been trading it i think the person if the person is on the platform now uh it should be let me check if uh i have him online no it's not online so it should be able to understand uh what i'm saying so um long story short bye bye for today and until we meet in the next webinar i'm going to drop the next webinar on the on the group platform so that we have in mind ahead what we are going to discuss uh i'm going to stop here for all of us that we miss the class, we miss the webinar, I'm going to upload the, the I'll upload the recorded version of the webinar so that nobody miss out anything during the uh, webinar programs. So bye bye until we see you next time.